Hello, kindergarten friends. Today we're going to continue to practice talking about using strategies to count objects. Today we're going to use the strategy of crossing objects out to help you count them. So as you can see on my screen today, I have some different objects and I'm going to show you how I can practice counting them by crossing them out. So I'm going to get my pencil here and I'm going to start with my yellow butterflies. So just like when we were practicing counting by lining things up in a nice straight line, we want to make sure that we don't count our objects twice or that we don't miss any. So one way to make sure we do this the right way is to cross them out as we count. So watch how I do it and you may count with me. So I have one butterfly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I didn't miss any. So I have 12 butterflies. A group of 10 and two more is the number 12. Excellent. Now the next objects that I'm going to count are my cute little penguins down here. So as I cross them out, I want you to count with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15. I counted them all. I have one group of 10 and five more. I have 15 penguins. Okay, one more group over here of my pink starfish. Here we go. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Wow, sixteen starfish. One group of ten and six ones make the number sixteen. So when you're counting objects, this is another strategy you can use. Maybe if the objects are on a piece of paper and you can't move them around, this is a great strategy to use. So today, I would like you to pick some of these objects. You can just do circles if you don't wanna draw detailed butterflies, penguins, and starfish. And I want you to practice drawing them. And then I want you to use that strategy of crossing them out to count. And then when you're done, write how many you have. And once you finish that, you can take a picture of your work and send it to your teacher. Have a great day, kindergarten friends.